Um, I'll start with something that we uh, were watching the other night. Dwayne and I were watching some documentaries on uh, regreening the earth or desert desertification. Um, you know what's what's going on with the with the uh, the earth in terms of uh, well, you could say more natural or not natural, but process of. I mean, this besides the chemtrails and the harp and the directed energy weapons, I mean, just the agricultural practices that have been used um, are destroying the earth, earth soil. So this documentary addresses that. It's very good. I put a link in here. It gives you an example of people that are doing something. Uh, they seem to be sincere. It doesn't seem to be Agenda 30. Um, they're basically, as far as I see, on their own and doing something real, and, and they're getting results. So I put the link in here. It's, it's uh, I'll briefly describe it. It's uh, John Liu. He's a Chinese ecologist and photographer, and he's uh, documented uh, how people in different parts of the world have restored their environment. And this goes along with the projects that we'll be doing. That's why I'm talking about this, environmental projects, because these people are actually doing it, uh, not just talking about it or faking, faking, uh, faking it. So he's in this documentary, it's about an hour. He's um, gone through different places in the world, China, Bolivia, Ethiopia. Yeah, for, for example, in China, they have these mountains. It's very hard to grow things on mountains. Plus, the mountains have been grazed through sheep and goats and cattle. They've, they've eaten everything down to the bone. So the soil is, is not in good shape. So what they did was... Um, they encouraged the farmers to to come in and create terraces or swales on contour and with picks and shovels, like thousands of them coming in. I saw one bulldozer, but basically picks and shovels with thousands of uh, people involved um, terracing these mountains. And then they, they bring in the the natives and the plants or whatever they're going to do, they bring those in. And in three, five year, three to five years, it's like just it's, it's re redone. Everything is, is growing and water is coming in. And it's just great the way um, it's been restored. There's one with uh, Jordan, the princess there in Jordan. She talks about how it's, it's all salty and, and uh, the soil has, again, been, been ravaged. Um, and uh, by the way, Jordan, I think it's along the lines of where we are here in Baja, the same longitude, because they talked about uh, the plants. They have similar plants that we're, we're going to be working with, dates, pomegranates, figs. Um, guavas, so it's interesting. That's just what we have in our our garden here. But but Jordan's another place. They they looked at Ethiopia, where um, they brought in this basically management system or design system called permaculture, based off permaculture mainly. But it's whatever you know. That's just a label. But basically, it's designing and restoring um, the soil and, and, and the environment where it's been um, been basically used up and restoring it back to a natural system, which is self-sufficient. That's the basic thing, is be becoming self-sufficient, having it take care of itself. But initially, a good design will create this self-sufficiency. And then you just have to come in and manage it a bit. So um, 
I just wanted to mention this because again, we'll be the projects we'll be doing uh, will be similar to this. So this is an example of what people are doing. Is John Liu and then Jeff Loft, 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 Lawton. He's Australian. He's one of the main, main characters in permaculture. And what also is good, this is like a global thing. You know, it's not just your backyard little garden, but he's, he's looking at it globally, the bigger picture and what can be done. Now, can't, again, this, they have nothing, they don't mention chemtrails or anything like that, which is like totally, uh, you know, affecting this. But um, again, that's another, another aspect where hydroponics, aquaponics, greenhouses come in and different things to w work with to offset the other things that are going on. Now, directed energy weapons, well, they can zap the greenhouse or whatever, so they can do anything they want, but at least people are starting to wake up and agree and that we need to do something to, um, you know, for, for basic survival in, in the physical, and then from there they can see more if they want to with what we're presenting. It kind of gives an overview of, of what, what can be done. And there's so many, there's a lot of videos out there. And Vesna posted something here. I haven't had a chance to look at it. But there's a lot of people doing things out there. A lot of them are from Australia and New Zealand. There's this couple, we just looked at another one, this couple that took, uh, I don't know how many hectares they had, but they just re redid everything. Um, the interesting thing is, yeah, when you when you revitalize the soil, so many things happen. Just uh, you can you can change the weather, bring water in, you know, that's that's been either washed away or dormant, or uh, you know, start collecting and harvesting it, and so the soil starts uh, again being uh, vital and alive. So a lot of stuff's being done that you don't hear about. You hear about the bad stuff, but people are doing it. So that's where we come in as management and we can bring these people together, um, support each other so that we can offset what's going on. Thank you for listening to this video. And if you want to hear more, subscribe to my channel to find further recordings. And to keep you updated with all the latest new presentation videos. Dwayne the Great Writer is making himself available for those who want to know more and see more and be more than just having another ordinary unaware life on this purposely poisoned planet. Create your new session with Dwayne the Great Writer and discuss any topic you like. Here are some examples to discuss personal, financial, relationships, dreams, government, 5G, GMO, chemtrails, vaccines, harp, military, secret service, spying, Subliminal tap lining, conspiracy, angels, gods, fairies, 
ghosts, aliens, reptilians, religious, spiritual, governments, monarchy, and anything that pertains to what you are experiencing in this creation bubble, and also the real universes of real freedom. Learn to get your own answers. New sessions start at 30 minutes at one dollar, one dollar into a PayPal a minute, and can be as much time as needed. And yes, the way Dwayne writes his new words refers to something more than what is known here, and this is where you decide to recognise what is real now with all life, or continue on as you have with just another personal life in an ageing body form. Contact Kevin Smith UK and Dean Val USA on Facebook and YouTube. Additionally, an official new presentation club is now available. The New Awareness Club, membership to which is one dollar per month through PayPal. Click on the New Awareness website link below the description of this video, and from there, Navigate to the forum site and register there, which serves as a home base for the club.